Hello ROS developers and welcome to a new video about how to develop with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning with just a 10 minutes video. I'm Ricardo and today we are going to answer this question about how to properly configure a range sensor in Gazebo so it can detect the obstacles. But before anything else, uh, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find the link to the academy on the video description below. And now let's start with this question that is made by Joep. And in his question, he's trying to make a, to, to simulate a range sensor. It's kind of an infrared sensor like he has here indicated on the infrared topic name. So he's using the range uh, plugin, El Gazebo. But he has some problems in detecting the obstacles. So it looks like everything is correctly configured, but it doesn't work. So let's have a look at what is happening here. Okay, so for that, we are going to use the ROS development studio. And what I'm going to do is to use a previous simulation of a, of a small wheeled robot that I built for other things. And let's try to put this range sensor configuration on that robot and see what happens, okay? So for that, uh, what I'm going to do first is to launch the, an empty simulation. And in this empty simulation, we are going to spawn this robot. And also what we are going to do is to add into the code of this robot the plugin of the range sensor. So for that, I need to use the IDE. So and here, so I have here already opened the code of the robot where it is described here to wheels URDF. And here what I'm going to do that uh, robot was uh, using a laser. So what I'm going to do is to substitute just the, the sensor that is attached to that link to the link of the base laser. Just this is just for the purpose of going faster. Okay, so it's I'm replacing the laser and putting the range sensor so I don't have to write the links and everything else. Okay, so the links and the joints are properly done. So the only thing that I need to do is to add the code of the plugin. So here it is. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it there. So maybe the font is very small. So let me put it bigger. Let me yeah, okay, 15, that will be okay. And this, let's make it also bigger so you can see. So what I have, I'm doing here, I have a link that is called base laser, where our sensor is going to be attached. And there is the joint that connects. Here is the joint that connects the base laser with the base link of the robot. So what I need to do is to change a little bit of the configuration of the infrared uh, sensor. So instead of reference IR left, I'm going to put my link, that is my base laser. About the rest of the configuration, it's okay. Only one thing is here, the frame name, at which the information of the infrared sensor is going to be published. Because in my simulation, this frame name doesn't exist. I had to put the laser frame. So all the data of the infrared is going to be published from this frame. Well, I hope that you understand that. If you don't, uh, you need to understand better what TF is and how it works. I highly recommend you that you take this course about at the Robot Ignite Academy that is about TF and, and finally understand how it works because it's quite uh, complex, the subject. Okay, so basically now I have configured my robot with the plugin of the range sensor that the question is providing. And then, so let's launch it. I'm saving and then let's open, sorry, not here, here a shell. And let's spawn this uh, robot here. What I have done is to create a launch file 
that is just for spawning the robot and it's inside here the two wheels description directory and then we have the spawn so we have the, we can spawn it and then the robot should appear here in the center at the center and there it is and that was supposed to be the laser but instead there we have uh, the infrared okay so first thing let's check if the topic is publishing so if there is a topic and that it's called uh, let's say put it here a little bit smaller here uh, that it's called um what's the name of the topic topic name arduino laser laser sensor uh, sensor infrared left okay so let's do a ross topic list and uh, it should be there here it is the topic so we assume that is publishing so let's do a ross topic echo and see what is publishing oh yeah so i had to put the <laughs> the name of the of course or do we know whatever Okay, so it's publishing, yes. So that's information, but as you can see here on the range is where, let me just stop it. So here on the range, we have the value and the value is, is quite a small. So it doesn't make sense, this value, because there is nothing in front of the robot. So what is happening here? Let's do one thing. Let's launch the um, Arbis and let's visualize what is uh, this uh, sensor measuring so that's one of the tools for that for Arbis is to actually see what the robot is feeling what is the current status of the robot so uh, for that yeah we need to go to the tools and then open the graphical tools where the window of the Arbis should have been should appear so let's go and there it is okay great so i have already properly configured for this uh, question so i'm showing the robot model and also the range and then we have to select here the topic that is arduino sensor left and yeah so it should be showing here but as you can see we see nothing okay so what is happening let me see here so what i'm going to do is to remove the robot model and see okay there it is so it's very small because yes it's very small but it's measuring something okay so this is the 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 ray because we have as we have configured so if you remember here we have configured this as having a single ray so it's a single sample in one degree from here to here it's only one degree and the same in the vertical so what is happening here so the the sensor the plugin it looks like it's working but it's not showing the proper measure that should be the maximum range so let me add the robot model and let me show you something oh yeah so it's kind of colliding with the shape of the of the laser of the shell that is containing the sensor so what i think is that it's colliding against it and that the measurement that is providing so let's go and let's remove it how can we remove that okay so in the question it's not shown where this sensor is integrated but that could be one of the problems that is colliding against itself against the the shell of the laser in this case where the sensor is integrated so in this case let's go to the laser where it is defined that is here and as you can see we have something that is called the visual and something that is called the collision okay so that's a collision that is being put in there in the laser is the that collision is the one that the the sensor is uh, is colliding against so what we can do is what we can for example one of the solutions okay there are many others but one if is just to remove that part the collision part so there will be no collision okay so only visual so the laser will be shown on on gazebo and on arbis etc but there will be no collision so there will be not nothing can collide with the laser so let's do that 
and so let's save it and let's just restart again an empty simulation and close everything because the raw score is is got kill so and we once we have the simulation we can relaunch and see what happens so uh, it's here it's launching the empty simulation ready so i can relaunch now spawn the robot with the new configuration and visually here we should see nothing different and that's the case and then what we should see is if we do a raw topic echo minus n1 we should see that it's measuring another range value and then as you can see it is it is measuring so if we launch that on Orbis we can see here so uh, here yeah and now change the topic yeah this is from previous tests so let me change that topic to the proper one and there it is there it is the sonar the sorry the infrared it's actually the same and we can what we can do is to put something here on the on the side and see if it is detecting it and as you can see it is detecting so you can move it and yeah let me see if i can move it a little bit like this and then is detected the new range okay so uh, so that's it so the your configuration is correct but your uh, the problem that you have um, is that uh, joep the problem is that you your sensor is colliding against its own robot uh, it could happen that you don't have this problem of the visual because you haven't put it for example but it could happen also that the laser the the range is colliding against the other parts of the body because this is treated as a cone as a cone so you have to be careful that this cone is not colliding against each body in any of its parts because otherwise it will be having the same problem you will have be having the same problem so basically that's it for this for today and then uh, in the description of the video you will find a complete course about ROS basics about ROS TF that could be also interesting for you and as well as other resources mentioned on the video and if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day and finally either you like it or not please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area hasta la vista